Hey guys, today we are going to watch possibly the worst punt, the worst Magic the Gathering play in all of history. So what he does is he draws the one card he needs and he realizes it when he goes into a, the attack phase. He had to play the two cards because they are sorcery. As you can see, he is on the right and this is the semifinals. So this isn't some small event. This is a semifinals of the Pro Tour and he absolutely realizes it. So he has PVDDR at 11. He's cannot respond, he's all tapped out. He has the flow in hand and he drew collective defiance with Hazret on board. That's exactly lumber damage. And in his excitement, he tried to attack with it before casting his spells. He has to cast his spells first. Unfortunately, you're not allowed a take back at the Pro Tour since he indicated he wanted to go to combat by trying to attack by tapping his Hazret. He passed priority on his first main phase. PVDDR is obviously going to also pass priority and he moves into the beginning of combat. Since both of the flow and the def defiance are sorceries, he cannot cast either. Uh, before combat, since he has two cards in hand, he can't attack with Hazret. This was game four, and he then proceeds to post combat main phase, cast the collective defiance, and pass back, which eventually loses him the game. He realizes it. He realized that was the one card he needed to win, but he, by picking it up, he was too excited, and he didn't actually execute. He went to the attack phase, which as you see, he does that, and then immediately from the right-hand side, you realize, wow, he, he, he knows. He knows he messed up, and there's no take-backs, and it's over. Uh, it is over for him. It's very sad. He could have won the Pro Tour. You can see from his face, he's pretty exhausted. I did watch it live and the Twitch chat was like crazy, right? Because when he picked the card, the Twitch chat was like, oh my gosh, it's amazing, he did it. He got exactly other damage, the exact card that would help him. And then when they realized what happened a moment later, like probably like half a second later, they just turned on him. Like punt, 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 and then there was just like a bunch of punts. It really hurts. He drew the right card to win and then he immediately punts away. This is, I have never seen something so savage because he knows it's the right card. Sometimes you will see a misplay, but the opponent doesn't know it's a misplay. He clearly knows he's got the game. And he would have, you know, he would have won. And it just hurts. It hurts so bad that we have to look at it one more time. It's, I mean, he knows this is the one card that in his deck to win the game. Look at him go, and he knows his mistake as soon as it's tapped. And there's some frantic, frantic movements. It just hurts. It hurt to watch this live. It hurts to watch it now. One of the crazy, crazy parts about this whole scenario is he knows this is the top deck that will win him the game. He just, in his excitement, because red decks, you know, sorcery is instant, he forgets that he has to play his cards out first. It was a very easy step. He's been playing a lot of magic. However, this is a brutal misplay. This is probably the worst I've ever seen in terms of how it you know instant like happiness to you made a mistake to instant sadness and the chat obviously also understood great guy he seems very very friendly he seems very nice he seems like a magic player you'd want at your locals but wow this is going to haunt him for some time i hope he can get um, over this and win you know another pro tour but this is the one that he would want to get back and it's magnified that it's on camera and it Twitch. Twitch knew this was the card he needed. So they were like, yeah, he got it. And then a moment later, they were like, wait, what happened? Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Anyway, leave me a comment below uh, with your worst misplay. Bye, guys.